Today we're talking to head coach Neil Sorville on the back of a thumping 6-1 victory over York City on Tuesday night. So Neil, it's the third time that we've won by that scoreline this, this season, which is a, a really impressive uh, statistic. And pretty well from uh, the moment that Eddie Jones uh, put us ahead in the uh, second uh, minute, it's gone really, really well. Yeah, I'd have felt um, that we'd got our you know, element of rhythm back and groove, if you like, uh, on Tuesday night. Probably seen a bit of that the, the week before against Dorking in the home game for the first 20 minutes. But um, definitely on Tuesday night, um, our attacking player came to the fore. Um, and, and yeah, delighted with the victory and delighted with the, with the goals we scored as well. There were lots of uh, individual uh, positives uh, on on the on the night, but uh, I thought George Wilson had a particularly good game. Yeah, good look. Um, he's obviously maybe you know not had the as many opportunities as he would have liked at this point um, with Isaac and and Ozzy doing so well. Um, but whenever he's came in, um, he, he showed he's capable. Um, and another player who's come from. You know, step three, same as Regan, um, and been able to to acquit himself really well at the at the level. So that's a, a positive, and he's still young as well, isn't he? You know, the, the number of games he's had, the age he's had. Um, I'm sure he'll go from strength to strength. In terms of the playoffs, we're back in the top seven, which is uh, which is uh, good news. It's very tight up there. Um, it looks like it's seven from nine. Do, do you think? Perhaps South End might have a little uh, thing to say about that. Yeah, I think so. I think um, they're a team who have definitely got the potential to put a, a run of wins together. Uh, they're more than capable of doing that. Um, so, and you'd always find in the in the playoff kind of race that someone will come late, put a run together, and someone will um, have a bad run of form and, and maybe fall out. That's usually the way it works. Solihull have uh, put a decent uh, run together and they're looking really strong at the moment. Having had a, a really good start to the season, then a very mixed uh, mid-season, but they do look as if they're, they're heading in the right direction at a good time. Yeah, I think so. Um, again, I'd, I'd say that other than the second and third who are nailed on, I think there's still movable parts with, with all the others. Um don't think they've you know quite got in, enough points to, to say they nailed on, but I think, you know, the lad coming in Campbell, Tavon Campbell has done well for them, hasn't he? He's a good you know, been a good player at the level, so that's a particularly good signing for them, I think. It's been a really tight uh, division pretty well from the word uh, go, with the exception of Top place, Chesterfield have uh, been flying from from day one, and Oxford City after uh, from about September time they've really struggled. As as it surprised you how much Chesterfield have been better than everybody else, and how big a gap there has been between Oxford City and the rest. Yeah, they look it is a, a strange one if you if you take out the top and bottom and then the gap between kind of second to 23rd if you like is is tighter than it's it's kind of ever been and you know everyone's capable of beating anyone else and, and the points have been spread out more across the division makes it really competitive um i think any side in the, in the bottom half if you like there's potential for them to still maybe fall into the trap if, if they don't get enough points there and you know, like i say every every game's really tough no matter who you play in. There's a case for saying that every team's got something to play for in terms of uh, could get still involved with the playoffs or the relegation uh, places. There might be an exception to that possibly with Rochdale and, and Hartlepool. But certainly if you look at the uh, the relegation uh, battle, um, anybody in the bottom half, anybody in the bottom 12 definitely could go down. And I think it's highly likely that at least one good side will go down. I think it's look it's a bit of an interesting one on that, isn't it? Um, you probably get around to this stage of the season when when you come down to maybe the last five or six games, and sometimes teams have nothing to play for. They can't go up, they can't go down. Um, teams at the bottom might be relegated by that point. Doesn't still doesn't mean it's going to be an easy game because potentially they, they can even if it's a team who've been relegated, they can play with a bit more freedom. Felt that was the case on. 
Tuesday night a little bit with York. They go down to 3-0 and they have a, a little bit of a, a better spell when it's, you know, they're down at 3-0 and then the pressure's off them a little bit. So um, that can be the case later on if you're playing against the team who's been relegated. So like I say, it's... Um, it's always tough, um, regardless of who you're playing in this division. Games have come so thick and uh, fast that we've, we find ourselves with just eight games left to play, which is not a huge number of games. Four at home, four away. And included in those eight games, we're playing six of the bottom uh, seven. Yeah, um, probably relate back to kind of what I've just spoke about in terms of how tight it is and everyone's fighting for their life and um, we've seen how tough a game it was um, against Walking last week, another team who were fighting for their life. So don't expect anything different um, against teams who are in the bottom half on the running. Yeah, if you look at it on paper, you can say, I, you know, you've got a great chance, but it doesn't always pan out that way. Yeah, Walking... Uh clearly a decent side at this stage of the season and, and stronger than they were at, at the start of the season when we went there. Yeah, um, some of the personnel is different um, than, than kind of what they've had. Again, another side probably similar to Boreham would do. Um, made the playoffs last season, not done as well as he would have expected for what for whatever reason uh, this year. Um, but there's still you know two tough sides to play against. Two of the four home games are against uh, teams in and around the playoffs, Gateshead and Oldham Athletic. And clearly those are, are two huge encounters. Yeah, I think it's, you know, any of the games where you're coming up against teams who are in and around you on the playoffs or you can still make it, it's imperative that you at least pick up um, something from them games. Obviously with us um, having them two games at home, you know, the, the plan will be to go and win them games. Um but again, look, the, the competition element of it, how tough it's been this season, you know, again, we'll, you know, we'll have to play really well to win them games at home. No uh, no game next week, which I'm sure is a, a big relief for you after literally Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday for what seems like an eternity. Yeah, it's been a bit of a slog, particularly with the... Um, with the away travel that we've had um, over the last couple of weeks, so nice to to get a free week next week and um, get a bit of working on the on the training pitch with the players. That'll be um, that'll be a benefit, hopefully. How much difference does it take in terms of uh, hours on the training pitch uh, when we haven't got a midweek game compared to when we do play on a Tuesday? Well, you, you've got um, your Tuesday and Thursday session predominantly. Tuesday's your, your, your biggest session of the week. Monday, they're still on a recovery session. Um, Tuesday and then Thursday, you can put more time into into your session if the lads haven't played Tuesday. If you're playing Tuesday and um, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, you're pretty much in on Monday recovery session. Thursday is still a recovery session and then Friday you're prepping for your, your next opponent. So there's not really a, an awful lot of opportunities to to do any additional work with the players in them periods of time. You're just planning on, on how you're going to kind of match up against your next opponent. And the reason we've no game is because of the uh, England C versus uh, Wales C international. Real disappointment for Isaac uh, Marriott getting injured uh, in the latter stages of Saturday's uh, game against uh, Woking. But on the positive side, as, as one door closes, another one opens and Jake Cooper's been called up, which is, is fantastic news for Jake. Yeah, brilliant for Jake. Obviously really unfortunate for, for Isaac um, to miss out, but... Uh, conversely, you know, great for, for Jake and um, hey, the season both players had. Um, can't complain um, with, with them getting the call-ups. And after the um, after that, uh, after the, the break next uh, next week, we've got a really busy period, four games in 10 days and then a fairly straightforward period with uh, three games on the final uh, Saturday of uh, the season. Um, I guess that's a little bit uh, unbalanced from from your perspective. Yeah, it's not. You know, it wasn't ideal where the Wheelston game got put in. Um, 
preference would have been to have played that on one of the, the three weeks, but understand that the league want to get it done done earlier. Like I say, it's not ideal. And then playing on the Saturday, Tuesday, and then going into um, the bank holiday weekend. But hey, we that's what that's what it is now. We just have to get on with it and, and deal with it as best as we can. And in terms of the pitch, which has clearly been an, an issue this uh, season, we seem to have, have, have come through the really difficult uh, spell. And in the meantime, other clubs have experienced the same sort of problems, particularly Wealdstone, Solihull, one, one or two, Halifax, one or two uh, others as well. So at this stage of the season, um, we've not got more games to play than everybody else, which, which is great news. Yeah, look, the pitches do get tough this time of year. Uh, I think everything gets harder, you know, the, the majority of players out there for both teams of uh, knocking on the door of 40 games at this point with cup games. Like you said, they've been playing Saturday, Tuesday. There's an element of being tired. The pitches become tricky. Um, ours has been, you know, a bit firm the last couple of weeks and you can see the ball skipping up and being a little bit bobbly. Um, at times, um, it was a bit better with with a bit more rain on it on on Tuesday night. Worked better for us, um, but hey, that's you know these are the moments I suppose are the periods of the season. You know, people say it's the business end of the season. That's the word they like to use, and it's the teams who can hey, maybe dig in and and make keep picking up points when they're maybe not at the best and and maybe not playing in the to the quality that they've shown all season because it's like I say it becomes really tough at this year at this time of the season and a grind almost to, to get through the games next up uh, trip to Boreham Wood on uh, Saturday it's always a very tough place uh, to go um, you've been involved in all the games at Boreham Wood apart from the first time we played them back in 2014 or 15 I think it was Um We've actually won twice there, I think, in four, in four visits. Um, so we've got a reasonable record uh, there. But it's, it, it's always a, a very, very uh, tough assignment. Yeah, probably, speaking about walking earlier, probably another team who's similar, you know, playoffs last year, not done as well as what he would have liked. But, you know, a team who have got massive experience at the level with the players they've still got there. You know, it's been, you know, that group of players has been there for a number of seasons now and... A lot of physicality in the team, um, capable of playing playing some good stuff as well, but make it a really awkward, difficult game for you. Um, and that'll be the case on Saturday, no doubt about it. One thing they have got is a, a fantastic uh, surface there. Yeah, pitch is great, isn't it, with um, the Arsenal women playing on there. So, um, yeah, hopefully that'll um, help us along with us trying to to get it down and play as much as we can will, will, will benefit us at the weekend and Boreham Wood still got a little bit to do they're one of the uh, teams in the bottom half so they've got a little bit to do this season it's a big big uh, game for them and it's been a difficult season for them and Luke uh, Luke uh, Garrard um, but and they're not, they're not, they've never been big goal scorers, but always been very, very sound defensively. So we can probably expect a pretty tight game Saturday. Yeah, I think they've usually been that way. Like, obviously, like I say, not doing quite as well as they, they would have hoped. I'm sure the manager can explain that better than, than I can, with what the reasons are. Um, yeah, maybe not scored quite as many and conceded more than they would they would usually do but like I say it's always been a really tough difficult game down there um, whether we've played them there or at home really tight game um, I think thinking back to the one we played them early on in the season at home um, we should have had that sewn up at half time really and then shows the character they've got to come back second half and get a point out of the game so um, yeah it expecting that and expecting a, a real tough encounter at the weekend looking at the game last time last season we went there on uh, August August bank holiday uh, weekend a one all draw I think it was probably perhaps just about the right uh, result Aaron Bennett scoring a really good goal for us but we had uh, good chances uh, to, to win the game late on yeah I think Marcus hit the bar didn't he cracked one against the bar late on um, yeah um I think if you look at the record again, another team, which is, is usually the case, the record at home is better than away. Of the 19 games, I think they've played at home. They've only lost five. Um, lots of probably draws in there and 
not enough um, home victories. But, you know, watching them this week and, and the last few games they've played, look, they've played Gateshead, Halifax and Solio Mose. They didn't every game, uh, you know, against three playoff chasing teams. So hey, that shows um, what they're capable of and how difficult it will be for us. And a huge amount of experience in the team and um, they're... Uh Full of nous, should we say? Yeah, they are. Like I say, a lot of lads who've um, been at the level for a for a long time. He's you know kept that nucleus, particularly across the the four seasons we've been back in the league. So yeah, a um, lot of experience in there and a lot of a lot of craft. But like I say, they're capable of some good players as well, and they're capable of playing some good stuff as well.